ASCENSE stands for a program that's going to start uh, uh, from December onwards and is uh, going to last for three years. It's uh, a mouthful actually, it stands for a European Sustainable Solutions for Existing and New uh, City Environments. The purpose of ASCENSE is threefold. Uh, first we try to develop by the end of uh, this three years program a uh, multinational, multidisciplinary educational program of 30 EC, European Credit Points. Secondly, we want to address within uh, the program a viable uh, solutions for, uh, for challenges and threats occurring in urban areas. And thirdly, we want to uh, leverage uh, new and innovative educational techniques like there are MOOCs, e-learning and blended learning. In essence, uh, uh, two categories of partners are involved. First, it's the municipalities, which is for us the industry or, uh, well, uh, practice, uh, as well as uh, educational institutes. And uh, those institutes all come from the CARPI network, which is the Consortium on Applied Research and Professional Education. I believe that innovation uh, can only take place uh, when there's openness, uh, when there's connectivity and when there's integration. And I think that the CARPI network uh, actually just provides that. So the CARPI network is the prerequisite of making this program a success. In the three years program, uh, the different partners are bringing in their own strengths and, and expertise in, into the program. So the municipalities will bring in the uh, problems uh, of uh, urban areas, related to urban areas. The educational institutes will bring in their strengths. HU University of Applied Science is the leader of the uh, program and they will coordinate uh, and they do the project leading. And also uh, Utrecht is strong, uh, strong in its uh, uh, application of the ICT infrastructure for the courses. If you would ask me what the connection is between a research and education, at first sight in this program it looks like it's a connection between education and practice. Yet practice bringing in real cases will add to the body of knowledge of science and, and research. So in that respect there's a connection between research and education. In Utrecht we have the Centre of Expertise Smart Sustainable Cities and in fact this programme is embedded in this particular Centre of Expertise. Also it's related to two of the three research themes being addressed in the Centre of Expertise being energy neutral urban areas and sustainable behaviour. The Essence project has a number of opportunities and you can uh, look at it from different perspectives, education, uh, research and practice. As for education I would say uh, the innovative techniques uh, to be leveraged uh, for, uh, for providing education. Also the multinational and multidisciplinary tier student teams is uh, really some, some opportunities that, uh, that are unique I think. Uh, as for research the practical cases being brought in will uh, eventually increase the uh, body of knowledge on uh, solutions for urban area problems and challenges. And for practice it will provide uh, solutions or fresh ideas, new ideas for real problems in, uh, in practice. The Essence program has been successfully granted by the Erasmus Plus overall program. And I think one of the explanatory variables in that respect is the fact that we already had a strategic alliance in place uh, from the past, being the CARPI network, in which the educational institutes already work together. I think Essence will contribute to the innovation of education in the sense that uh, we include blended learning principles. We do that in a multinational and multidisciplinary uh, context. Uh, student teams are coming from different areas and, and different disciplines. We also address societal issues and we include practice and industry in our program.